The day after more destruction, rioters gathered in North Portland for the second night in a row. This time, the groups had fired to the Portland Police Union building on North Lombard Street. Thank you for joining us on Coin 6 News at 4 o'clock. I'm Dan Tilkin. And I'm Elizabeth Din. Our Lindsay Nadrich spoke with neighbors in that area who say they've had enough. Lindsay joins us live with much more. And what did they have to say, Lindsay? Well, one neighbor told me his family feels traumatized and frustrated by the ongoing riots. Last night, the biggest concern was the fire that caused an estimated $25,000 worth of damage to the Portland Police Association building. You can see some of that damage here. We can't show you the rest of the building because there are swear words graffiti to it. But this is what the fire looked like last night. Neighbor Douglas Armstrong took this video on his cell phone. There are homes right next to the building, so he told me they were concerned concerned about it spreading. He says one neighbor tried to put it out with a hose before Portland fire arrived. It affects everybody here in the neighborhood and like we all come out every single time and there's some of the neighbors that have children and they're terrified and crying. Yeah, you know, and it, it's not easy for any of us. Douglas says he was also harassed by a rioter and no longer feels safe in his own home. He told me he and others are on edge, worried they might come back. Police made one arrest last night before the group dispersed. 19-year-old Alma Raven Quito is now charged with arson, criminal mischief, and felony riot. Police say they found bottles full of probable accelerants, lighters, and other items on her when she was arrested. We also learned she's facing a felony riot charge from a demonstration over the summer. Now, I also spoke to Portland police about their response to the rioters. I'll have that as well as a reaction from Portland Mayor Ted Wheeler coming up at 5 o'clock. Reporting live, I'm Lindsay Natterch, Coin 6 News.